G'day guys, welcome to my channel. I've been asked by a fellow YouTuber, Ben Long, to do a little bit of an experiment. With my Chiralgan uh, Summer IPA that I made, uh, I am actually going to, I actually bottled one in a big bottle, put, put two carbonation drops in the big bottle and one in a smaller bottle. And he said to me, he's found that when he does a small bottle, it tastes different than a big bottle. So I'm doing an experiment to see if it does. The only issue I've got is the Trogan Summer IPA, I think is not a good beer. It's actually gone off. So I'm hoping that it will taste great. And the other thing I've got is this. If you remember, I did a experimental brew from this company, Smoke and Salt and Hops, uh, Brew in a Bay, Pale Lab, blah, 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 blah. I'll put, I'll put a link in my video for that. We're about to tie, find out what it tastes like. So if you're ready, I'm ready. So stick with me. So first things first, I'm gonna crack these bottles open and I'm gonna uh, try them. I've got two glasses. Uh, I've got them from Aldi, would you believe? And they're actually quite nice glasses, nice and tiny. It doesn't have to be big money, I'm experimenting. I'm only tasting it, I don't want to drink. So we'll crack the first one, see how fo foamy it is. It's not too bad. It's, it's not too bad at all. Well, shall, shall we try it? It's a bit, bit carbonated. I'm probably pouring it a bit wrong because I'm on a bad angle here. But uh, it's just looking all right. Just put that in there. We'll just pop that down. We'll crack the big fella. Ready for it? Yeah, not too bad. It's not foaming up like crazy. Got a bit of carbonation in there. It's not looking too good. good. Smells all right. I'm not not unhappy with that one. Shall I pour that in? Yeah, it's still very highly carbonated though, as you can see. So I reckon it might have gone off. But we'll see how we go. Yeah. Um, so I'll get this, this little goon bag out of the way. It's nice and cold at the moment, it's in the way. So we have the small bottle and the big bottle. We'll just wait for the carbonation to settle down a little bit and I'll give you a closer look at the, at the uh, texture of the beer and see what you think. In the meantime, we wait. Okay guys, I'm not gonna wait much longer. Uh, I just wanna taste it, so it's not a big deal. So you can see the carbonation is there. Um, you can't really see, I hope you can see the bubbles going on in there, which are pretty good. Uh, the, the head stain, it's got a fair bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, lacing, so that's not too bad. We'll give it a sh Smells, smells good. Um, can't be ha unhappy with that. I thought it was going to be off, but it's actually quite alright. Let's taste it, shall we? Mmm, very carbon carbonated, very, very carbonated, but it's not bad. Got a bit of a sharp aftertaste. Um, bitter. Can't really smell the hops I put in it, which, uh, which is disappointing. Quite nice, a little bit sweet, not overly sweet, but really strong in flavor. It has a, a, a poor mouth feel, as you would put it. Um, I probably should have put something in it to make it more um, or less sharp on the tongue. But other than that, it's not a bad beer. It's um, not awesome, not something I'd want to drink all the time, but it's not a bad beer, so I'm pretty happy with that. And shall I try now the bigger bottle and see if it tastes any different? This is for you, Ben. Let's have a go. Smells the same. Looks very much the same, same cloudiness, same everything else. Yes, very different, very different. Um, not, this is brighter in, in flavor. Uh, it's not as uh, dense when you taste it. Uh, the mouthfeel is a bit better. Uh, I still can't smell the hops or taste the hops, but I can taste the bitterness, it's really nice. It's got, it's much sweeter. Uh, this is the little bottle. This one's a bigger bottle, less sweet. Still has a very much the same flavor, a bit more dry. So there you go. So there is a difference between the small bottles and the big bottle. The big bottle does have a bit more uh, sweetness to it. The little bottle has, oh, sorry, the other way around. The big bottle ha is much drier than the little bottle, yet it's the same brew. But the little bottle has 300 and, it's 330 mil. So the little bottle is 330 mil. This is 740 mil. Uh, we probably went to about 700 mil, uh, which would count, which won't even doesn't even account for it. So basically, 
One drop for 330 mil, maybe 320 mil. You double that, that's 640 mil. Yet, oh no, no, that works. Because if it was 700 mil, there's an extra 60 mil in the other bottle that hadn't been sweetened. So that's why it's drier. That would make a difference. There you go. So we now know that there is a difference between the big bottles and the little bottles. So we experiment success. And the beer's not bad. Now, guys, I'm going to drink my glass out. We got another one. If you remember my goon bag, the one that I found out in the shop, uh, experimental beer, of course, um, I am now ready to test it. I haven't opened it, I haven't even looked at it or smelt it, so here we go. Stick with me. All right, guys, I'm about to open up this goon bag, so stick around, watch what happens, and I'll show you what it looks like, and I'm guaranteed there won't be any carbonation in this one, so we'll get into it, eh? Probably going to get, oh, it's sealed under there as well. Probably going to get a bit of crap. How does it work? Oh, there we go. All right, guys, it's actually quite, quite all right. It's a bit clear. I'll we'll tip that out just because it might have dregs in it. We'll pour it in. I'm only pour a little bit. As, as I thought, there's absolutely no carbonation in that. But it doesn't look too bad, it's a bit cloudy. Shall we taste it? All right, here we go. Okay, that's our uh, Gutenberg brew. Looks pretty good. Um, it's called, uh, it's just a pale ale, a pale ale. So look at that. It's a nice little looking brew. Let's taste it, huh? Smells all right. Wow, it's flat. <laughs> uh, but, That's not a bad brew. That actually tastes quite good. It's got a bit of taste to it, um, a little bit sweet. It's almost like my Aussie and my Trogan IPA, but a bit of better flavor. Uh, it's clean, it's very flavorsome. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep that, that is a good brew. It's not a bad tasting brew. The only problem that I've got, it's got no carbonation. So what I'll do is I'll actually take the bag and I'll, Pour the brew into one of my kegs and I'll carbonate it and then I'll let you know what it tastes like after I carbonate it. Cool, this is great. Love it. Not bad. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell so I can give you more videos. Uh, this was a short one, so if you're happy with what you see, I've got more to come. I really enjoy doing home brew and I'm learning more and more all the time, so it's really good to do. So thanks for watching, we'll catch you again. Ciao.